For Sukarat Payaba in Manhattan, the week began with open calls for new hires. Okay, there's an application. You hear the open call? What's your name? The restaurant was getting ready to staff its indoor dining area again after New York gave the go-ahead to resume indoor seating at 25% capacity following a two-month hiatus. That means this two-story restaurant can now seat 28 people out of a capacity of 107. We're pretty uh, ecstatic about it. Uh, we've been doing only outdoor dining for the majority of the winter, so any addition to indoor dining is welcome. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo had originally planned to resume indoor dining on Valentine's Day, but caved into industry pressure to reopen a few days earlier for restaurants to generate much-needed revenue from the Valentine's Day weekend. For any restaurant in New York City, it's a big deal because, you know, uh, January and February are typically the slowest months uh, business-wise for restaurants. So, and between that and a pandemic, you know, restaurants are looking for every way to you know, make it through the winter months. But not every restaurant can afford to open at this limited headcount. For many of New York City's struggling restaurants, opening indoor dining at 25% capacity is a bit of a toss-up because operating at that fraction of capacity makes it difficult to break even, much less turn a much-needed profit. Especially if it's a smaller restaurant with higher overhead costs and tighter margins. If you're an omakase restaurant with 12 seats, um, do you, uh, you know, open for three people indoors? Um, that, would just, that just wouldn't make sense uh, in a lot of cases. And between bringing back workers and pay, putting people on a payroll when you're only filling up your dining room at 25%, you know, you're still paying 100% of the rent. Sokarat, an established family-owned business with three citywide locations, can afford to take that chance, and bookings are already coming in for their Valentine's Day four-course dinner. So here we have our langosta paella. Um, langosta is Spanish for lobster, of course, and it's a seafood paella with shrimp, uh, scallops, and a bunch of yummy other ingredients. And then finish it off with what else? Heart-shaped churros con chocolate. A fitting way to share the amor as New York embarks on its precarious road to recovery.